Good morning, learners! Welcome back to our Valenzuela live streaming. Again, I am your nurse, Marie Antoinette Ganalon Soriano from the Filipino Village Big Nine National High School. Are you ready to be healthy? Then let's get it on. But before anything else, let me give you some important reminders to observe during our online class. sure you are ready for today's discussion. For today's lesson, here are the most essential learning competencies. First, explain the proper health appraisal procedures. Second, demonstrate proper health appraisal procedures during adolescence in order to achieve holistic health. Third, avail of the health services in the school and community in order to appraise one's health. And last but not the least, apply coping skills in dealing concerns during adolescence. Before we go on to our discussion, may we have a short review on our previous lessons. I hope everyone will actively participate in our activity. Just comment your answers in our comment box. Number one, which dimension of health is involved when you express your emotions in their positive way? Letter A, emotional. B, mental. C, physical. D, moral, spiritual. And the answer is A, emotional. Number two. At what stage of development children explore and develop a sense of self? Letter A, infancy. B, adolescence. C, old age. D, preschool age. And the answer is letter B, adolescent. Number three, having an Adam's apple, growth of hair in different areas in the body and increase in height are under what stages? A, mental. B, social. C, emotional. D, physical. And the answer is D, physical. Nice work, learners. May I remind you, learners, that this lesson needs strong parental guidance. It contains words or phrases that may not be suitable for young audiences. Parents or guardians, please guide our learners. Okay then, so for today's lesson, we will be discussing health appraisal and screening procedures. Let me identify health appraisal first. Health appraisal refers to the series of procedures to assess or determine the health status of students. One way to do health appraisal is to know your health status so that you can take the necessary actions to improve 
your health habits and practices. In case there is a sign of medical problem, early detection can help prevent this from becoming serious that would need appropriate treatment. Here are some screening procedures you need to undergo during your adolescence in order to achieve holistic health. We have physical growth and development screening, vision screening, hearing screening, screening for scoliosis, and breast self-examination. First is the physical growth and development screening. In this screening, your height and weight are being measured using a tape measure and a weighing scale. These measurements are helpful in determining whether the normal physiological growth patterns are occurring on you or not. Second test is vision screening. This is effective in DeVore because deviations from normal, identified, and refractive errors can be corrected. We commonly use a Snell and chart for this screening. To do this, you need to stand at the distance of 6 meters of the chart. You will try to read what's on the chart with one eyed covered. The third one is the hearing screening. We check on the ability to hear sound and determine how well one can communicate with the environment. This screening is performed with pure audiometer, which is a reliable procedure to detect hearing loss. The fourth one is the scoliosis screening. This is to detect problems during the rapid growth in late childhood to early teenage years. This screening will identify any spinal irregularities that would worsen the body's movement and stamina, most likely to lead back pains and other body parts. Here are the steps for scoliosis screening. Number one, stand facing away from the screener. Second, bend forward at the waist 90 degrees, feet 10 centimeters apart, knees straight, and feet parallel to each other. Third, palms of the hands are facing each other, and arms hang down and relax. The head is turned down. The fifth one is the breast self-examination for both male and female. Self-examination can be performed every month to become more familiar of how your breasts usually look like and feel. You may notice any change from what is normal for you. Begin by looking at your breast in the mirror with your shoulders straight and your arms on your hips. These are the warning signs. Breasts are unusual in size, shape, and color. Breasts are unevenly shaped without visible distortion or swelling. Dimpling, crumpling, or bulging of the skin. A nipple is in an inverted appearance. Changes in appearance of nipple may be visible with redness, soreness, rashes, or swelling. Fluids can be milky. Yellow fluid or blood are coming out from one or both nipples. As an adolescent, you should always remember that you are responsible in your own health. Monitor your body for changes that might need medical checkup and is often referred to our health care providers. Let's now move on to our next topic, which is the health services. Health services provide medical treatment and care to the public or group. Our government believes that the strong nation needs healthy citizens. In order to achieve that, the Department of Health promoted community health with a partnership of the Department of Education, Community, Barangay Government, and Non-Government Organizations through the program called primary health care. Here are the services offered in school and community. We have dental health program, dental related examinations and procedures like extraction of milk teeth, 
giving prescription by assigned dental practitioner in a community or school. We also have medical clinics. These provide simple intervention or free medicines for simple health problems prescribed by medical practitioners assigned in community or school. Examples include stomach ache, fever, cough, cold, and headache. We also have immunization or child health care. This includes vaccine shots for measles, mumps, polio, rubella, and influenza. Since the children's immunity system is relatively weak, it also aims to control diarrheal diseases caused by microorganisms found in water. Educating the children about water safety and sanitation can help them prevent this disease. We also have this in school. Do you remember your measles, rubella, diphtheria, and tetanus toxoid shot during your elementary days? And be informed also that you will be given another booster shot of these vaccines for this year. Nutritional program. This is when the children's mass is checked and identified whether it is appropriate for their age, the BMI or the body mass index. In the community, it is called the operation timbang. In response to those children who were classified under category of underweight, the community and school provide food supplements through giving vitamins or free health snacks during recess. This also helps in the increase of good attendance of the students as well. We also have the deworming. This service aims to eliminate intestinal parasites in children through mebendazole, and this is done every January and July of each year, which is the National Deworming Month and has been the goal of the Department of Health since then. We also have mental health programs. These provide centers for adolescents suffering from emotional and mental problems like depression, abuse, and stress. It targets the overall psychological well-being of students. In relation to these services, the Department of Health and the Department of Education strengthened the program by launching the OK SADEP and program that improves the following. The school-based feeding program, national drug education program, adolescent reproductive health education, and water sanitation and hygiene and school program. Again, what are the health services offered in school and community? Yeah, we have dental health program, the warming, medical program, mental health program, immunization, and nutritional program. These services offered in school and community are free and they are subsidized by the government to ensure that your health is being protected. Let's now proceed to our last topic, which is coping skills. Coping skills are tools and techniques that you can use to help handle difficult emotions, decrease stress, and establish or maintain a sense of internal order, which means health concerns or problems brought about that changes experienced during the adolescent should be dealt properly to prevent negative consequences. Here are some coping techniques. First, we have support seeking strategies. This is to talk to a friend or someone, seek advice from family members, and seek professional advice. Here are some positive problem solving strategies. First, do not act hastily. We must make an action plan when a problem comes up. 
we also need to look at the problem as a challenge. And we must come up with different solutions to the problem. We also need to do self-talk. It is the way to help you change your thoughts or it helps you reflect on the problem. Here are some self-talk statements that you can use as coping skills. These statements are useful when you are under stress or facing a challenge or problem. When you are preparing for a stressful situation, we must tell to ourselves that I have succeeded with this before. I know I can do it. I won't entertain negative thoughts. And when you are facing the challenge or problem, always say to yourself that I can do this. I won't rush. I will do slowly, step by step. And if I get nervous, I'll take a deep breath. And when you are coping with fear, bear in mind that you'll survive. You must relax. It will end. And must take a deep breath. For self-congratulations or after solving a problem, congratulate yourself. Tell yourself that I did it and next time I don't have to worry much. Let's see if you have learned something on today's topic. Choose the letter of the correct answer, then comment it in the comment box. One, you got a failing score in a quiz. For you to prepare for a stressful situation, what statement would be best to use in this situation? And the correct answer is letter A. Number two. You have been tested positive for COVID-19 recently. For you to cope with fear, what statement could you use for this situation? The correct answer is letter B. Number three. And as adolescents, you are experiencing sudden changes in your body. When you are facing a problem or challenge, what statement could you use for this situation? The correct answer is letter C. And that ends our lesson for today. For your assignment in your health module, kindly answer the activity 8 and 9. Seek for help from your parents or guardians in answering these activities. It will be checked on your follow-up session tomorrow. Before we end, I would like to leave you a message. Wear a mask. My mask protects you. Your mask protects me, and only together we can save lives. Thank you for spending your precious time with me. See you again in our next live streaming session. Again, I am your nurse, Marie Antoinette Benalon Soriano from Disciplina Village, Big Nine National High School. Signing off. Goodbye, and let us all be safe.